Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial on how to create your own planner that you can put into your iPad so that you can use it to do digital bullet journaling or planning. So let's hop right into it. The first thing you're going to do is actually change the document dimensions of this in the master. And we want it to be a custom size. I'm going to do US letter size. It's going to be 792 wide and it's going to be 612 height. So that's our slideshow. And then you're gonna go back, you can go done. And now this is your page size. So first thing you're gonna do is find a picture, any picture that you really like that you want to be your cover, drag it in here. And I'm just gonna quickly create a cover like that. Okay. And we're gonna do a shape. I'm gonna do add shape, make it really big. I just want this band going across my cover. And to change the color of this box, I'm going to go to Format, Style, Color Fill, and I'm going to click this color wheel and this eyedropper, find a really dark green, and I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add text. You're going to add text here. You're going to say, this is your 2021 planner. Go ahead and find a font that you like. For us, it's going to be Tago. Can't go wrong with that. And you're going to make it white, and you're going to make this 30. Cool. So you're going to just put it in the middle and then you're going to do another shape that's going to be a line. And then you're going to do another copy and you're just going to say July to December. And for this, we can make it smaller and size. That's our cover. Then you're going to add a new slide. The first thing that we're going to do is this monthly spread. I'm going to go to table, click on this one. So you're gonna make it seven wide and five is fine. So you're gonna drag this all the way. So I'm gonna find the center by doing first view, show ruler, shape, and that is the center. So I'm gonna drag a line all the way to the middle of this right there. That is our halfway point. We're gonna line up the middle of this chart here and we're gonna leave this margin for note. Like it there. We're gonna make sure that this entire chart, the cells are going to be bordered. Um, all the lines are gonna be this dark gray and at 2.25. Perfect, so now we're gonna go here and we're just gonna specifically make the lines long ways dark and make them 0.5. And then you're just gonna make all of these the side white. Okay, so that makes it very nice and elegant. Let's just put 2021 here, just for like a nice visual anchor. So now we're going to go and do your weekly spread. It's going to look like this. So to do that, we are going to create a big table with one, two, three, four boxes. So let's do that. Quick tip is to shift this to be left justified so when you update the text it will stay there. Now we're going to bring in our two columns. Again, you're into your table, you're going to do one and you're going to do that. Make it really big and you're going to make it four. So that is what we have. So now you have your midline here. We're going to do the same thing we did and that way we can be as exact as possible. Okay, I'm going to do it on one side and then we're going to move it to the other so it's going to be faster. You're going to make the lines. So when I did this, I created these rules and that's totally optional if you want. If you can write in the white space or prefer it to be white, then that's fine. Um, but I think it helps have a guide, especially when you're just starting out writing on an iPad. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I think we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. So I make it one and eight. And then I'm gonna pull this down. Try and match it to that. Perfect. And we only put this on half of the chart. What I did there was I just made it the lightest gray. Go ahead and bring the circles in. And then same thing with this, no fill, 
but it does have a border. Grab this, copy and paste it. Now we have half of the week done and we're going to unlock this and we're going to move it to the other side. This one will just say notes and because it's notes, let's take that one out. Okay, the last thing is to bring 2021 to this side. Add slide, give yourself a blank sheet. So instead of week of, you're gonna say date. Table two, and then I did, I think, 32. I'm gonna merge these nuggets here. So every two is one hour. So every one of these is half an hour. This is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We're in military time. 18, 20, 21, 22. So day ends at 10 p.m. That is our time. And then to get rid of the sidebar, if we don't want it, you can say table, cell, left side, white. So that is how we did this one. And then grab the text there, line it up, and just say schedule. Okay, so then what we do is do a line, just a straight line like that there, and you write notes. And you're gonna move it to the middle. Let's bring to here. If we wanted to change this into something more like a meal planner, merge, it's like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. So we're gonna copy and paste, add a slide, go to blank, do this. So now you're gonna do this and make it 0.5. We're gonna add a table, like we did. Get rid of that and then put it in the space you want it in. Pull it down, then 24. Just remember your left and your right. Then move the thing to the back. I don't think we need 2021 here, but you do want to have your date, but you don't want it to have it be so massive. So let's make it an... Once you're done, you're going to file, save, and you're going to call it whatever you want. You can go ahead and export it. So you need to file, export to PDF. You're gonna make better quality and same name, but it's gonna be PDF. 